said, I just completed your reading. Just coming forth to let you know. Thank you for watching my videos. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Help me grow my channel. I'm doing my best. I'm putting my energy, my effort, my time, my mind, body, and spirit into this channel. And I ask for your feedback. I ask for your comments. I ask for your shares. I ask for your likes so that I can continue to do this for you. I am an intuitive reader. I, you know, I use numerology. I use gematria. I use tarot i use the traditional messages i use kabbalah the tree of life so many different things and i'm not just the one dimensional reader where i just read you know where it's just you know what the card means i actually dig deep into the meanings and dig deep into the kabbalistic meaning and tarot comes from kabbalah so anyway um like share comment so that i can grow this channel thank you for watching it was brought to you by my brand gym body tmc please support the movement you can order a sweater if you're working out in the gym workout in your gym body or gym body in progress sweater because the movement continues the marathon continues through me and you and through us the season right there through us working on our goals and dreams so help each other support each other um comment your businesses below i have no problem with that as well anyway thank you for watching this video and here you go What's up, guys? This is a Twin Flame reading. I'm reading it on September 11th for September 12th. Um, today was very distracting for me. So that means either I, I was supposed to ignore those distractions and use the energy of today, which is the number 23, which is the number of transformation, death, but transformation. Today was 23. And I just watched a movie yesterday about the number 23, which is weird. It's like, not weird. No such thing as coincidences or it's just signs and synchronicities. But anyway, some cars failed already. Um, today was definitely one big distraction. So hopefully I didn't miss out on opportunities by kind of, you know, <laughs> being reactive. And Kabbalah teaches, you know, be proactive, not reactive. So I kind of, I definitely failed myself and putting out positive intentions. Um, so three cards fell out. Interesting. Huh? Drop your shields. It's on the bottom of the deck. Protection guardian. Drop your shields. Which is weird. I keep seeing weird because you also got stand your ground. It is a fly in here and it's so annoying. And I have a fly swatter and I can't seem to catch it. <clears throat> stand your ground. Mountains. Hmm. Maybe it's time for you to move a mountain. Be fearless and stand strong. Interesting, interesting. Shed old skin, and you are not alone. I'm going to pull the cards, and I'm going to see how these work cards tie in. But what I'm getting is, there's definitely, this one flame journey is one big mountain. Okay. Computer is messing up. Um, so, what was I saying? Um... The song, Usher song, came in my head. It's like moving mountains. Maybe we need to um, listen to that song at, when this is over. But yeah, the twin flame journey is like moving a mountain. Sometimes shedding old skin and overcoming karmics and negative behaviors and negative patterns and negative, you know, not negative, oh, but, you know, like patterns and behaviors that was good for us in the past and people that don't necessarily fit in our future it could be like moving a mountain but spirit is saying it's time to shed on old skin but it's also time to stand your ground for your desires stand your ground for oh i'm getting so much positive energy from this card stand your ground for your goals and your desires stand your ground for the relationship that you desire with your divine partner but this is powerful energy from this card if you look at this card it is three stars at the bottom what i'm getting from the stars is the holy trinity and when by that i mean like the creator the masculine and feminine meaning the holy spirit the body the sun you know um the vessel of god on earth and the creator all in one but Becoming one could be like moving a mountain, but stand your ground. You can do it. Um, things are happening for you. If you look at the mountain, things grew from underneath the surface. So underneath the surface, things may be working in your favor, even if you don't see it. 
Um, yeah, another three here on this card. One, two, three. You have the moon, you have the eye, you have the circle. But it's like things working in your favor and the feather, the liberation. You have, you know, awakening. You have things happening in the background that you may not see. You are not alone. The divine is with you. Your angels are with you. Um, guides are with you. So it's like stand your ground. Be fearless and stand strong for what you want. But also drop your shields, meaning do what you can. Stand your ground. Put in the effort for the things and people you like in your life. But don't do it to the point where you're overbearing, where you lack trust. Drop your, sh your distrust. Drop your shields of distrust. Drop your shields of fear. Knowing that spirit is with you, God is with you to manifest this connection, to manifest your goals, to manifest your desires. And, you know, I hope you're not obsessing over anyone. But, um, so it is some weirdos sending me pictures in my inbox. Get y'all real stupid, goofy ass the fuck up out of here. I do not want your picture. Anyway, stand your ground um, as it pertains to your desires, but no, but don't be overbearing to the point where it's a lack of trust. So trust that you're not alone. You're not alone in life. You're not alone in this journey. You're not alone. First card we have is the star. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, 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 the star, the star. Anyway, we have the star. Sometimes the star coming out means... Uh, on the bottom of the deck is three of cups. I'm getting a following. Um, you could be a person that is followed or about to be. But what I'm getting at the star is recognition. It's a following. You were created to be a star. You were created to lead others. But that could be your next phase of life, um, being a star and getting recognition. Three cards fell out. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. So we have the Eight of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Devil in Reverse, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Four of Cups keeps coming out. And under the, I'm going to take this one too. We have the Death card. Okay. Listen. I've been praying. I've been meditating. I ask Spirit for guidance. Why do I keep getting the same reading, the same message? And, you know, um, a lot of my, I had a dream. I don't know if I told you guys about this before, but, you know, I was climbing a tree. And when, you, when you're when you climbing a tree in a, a dream, it signifies success. But it, in the dream, so much was happening. It was signifying being a life, you know, starting with the car, having a life that other people want. So to protect yourself, I was in a cocoon high up in a tree at the end of the drink. It's like you you create and you build and you continuously create and build um, a better life or your, your continuous success. When you're climbing a tree, this signifies very high levels of success. And the tree that I climbed was extremely high up in the sky. And then I got in my cocoon, inside of a cocoon, to protect me. It, it signified protection. And, and the way to protect is to continuously build, continuously create. And, you know, you get high up high and high in a dream where people can't touch you or in life. So I believe this is saying, with the star card in these readings, it's saying if you resonated with, with it like I do, you're going to be living a life in the spotlight. Look at all those stars. It's like the spotlight. You're going to live in a spotlight. Why? Look at seven stars, spiritual completion. You complete the spiritual journey, which is the twin flame journey. Maybe knowingly, unknowingly, you, th you didn't know that you were putting yourself in a position to receive one high level and to be in the spotlight. But, you know, you've created this life that lots of people want. And you know the devil was on his way. Um, tricks of the enemy is on the way, so you deny the enemy. This is karmics. You know, the devil uses people who can be controlled. When you are one with God or, you know, you know who you are as a vessel of God on earth and, and you know, and you're right with um, the creator and you are the creator, you can't necessarily be touched by the enemy. But what can be touched by the enemy is the people that you allow around you. So you have to be very specific with the people you allow around you. This is denying the people 
Um, who can be controlled by the enemy from being around you? This is this can include karmics. This can include family. This can include friends. This can include people trying to be in your life simply because you have recognition and following. So this is saying, again, you have a life that is worthy of living that other people would desire as well. You have recognition and the following. So you're denying entry into your life. You're denying entry from people, places, and things that don't serve you anymore. This could be karmics. This could be family, friends, whatever. You're protecting yourself by removing these people from your life. Then you have focusing on your work. The Eight of Pentacles, deciding that it's best this is a good time in your life to simply focus on your work. And you have the death card signifying transformation. Things transforming because you decided to simply focus on your work because there are people in your life that don't serve you. Five of, Pen uh, five of Swords. You know, this keeps coming out of my reading. I'm sorry, guys. Yep. Yep. Nine of Pentacles. So you're abundant. You focused on your goals. You focused on your work. And you're abundant because of it. But you have the Five of um, Swords signifying... People competing for you, though, or some sort of competition into your life. Let's just say some sort of competition enters your life um, because, and this is feminine energy, guys, but this is a feminine who balances, a balanced feminine in tune with her masculine energy. So we'll just call this reading a balanced feminine, divine masculine, divine feminine energy. Um, what's next? Anyway, you have this um, decided to be single. Be, a, the Knight of Pentacles is a abundant energy. You know, I was just reading a post, loneliness for, versus aloneness. This is aloneness, solitude, meditation, freedom, harmony with self, self-love, self-balance, abundance, increased overflow, independence, not loneliness, which is a need for others, a codependency, a lack, um, seeking others' approval or attachments. This is not loneliness. This is aloneness. But you're abundant in your aloneness. You're abundant in your life and you're you're tranquil you're you're in harmony with being alone because again you know that you have a life that people would like to enter or take simply because they want to be a part of it but you know that you can't allow entry into your life from everybody because they don't have control over their emotions it can be easily used by the opposition two of wands and a queen of pentacles okay so this energy is, yeah, you're deciding to be single, but also, you know, you're ready for, so in your future, or you plan for a connection, you plan to connect with others, you want to be a nurturer, you want to, you know, maybe even have a baby or just have a nurturing relationship with someone. So you plan your future for it, or this could be someone planning for you. Someone looking at you, yes, this is the, maybe the masculine looking at you this way, as a nurturer, as someone abundant, as someone he or she would like to be a part of. So while you're alone, this the masculine is planning, planning on a way to not get you, but a way to become into union with you. Because again, you're protecting yourself. You've decided to be alone. You know that your life is abundant and you can't allow just anybody into your life. And the masculine knows that as well. And the masculine is deciding, um, sorry, so we can fail. Um, deciding how can I get to this? How can I, yeah, yeah. Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Well, you know, it goes from a calming energy so one a little fiery and i'm gonna leave this i'm gonna use the other deck next this is the queen of wands queen of wands you're attracting energy you're attracting people places and things to stand by your side that's gonna stand up for you the queen of wands stands up for um people the queen of wands attracts you know a following attracts people the queen of Wands, she's abundant like she's such a boss to me the queen of wands I think the queen of wands is Aries energy. Aries females like bossy. But you're a boss. You have it together. You stand up for yourself and others. And people are drawn to you. Even masculines. Yeah, with the six of pinnacles in this page of swords. 
honestly, I'm getting some aggression with this Page of Swords, but I'm getting calmness with this Six of Pentacles. It's like a calming energy here, planning to get with the feminine, but willing to fight for it. Willing to fight for this connection that's of equal give and take. Um, both of you are abundant in. It's like fighting for this relationship because it's abundant or it has the potential to be abundant or it has the potential to be nurturing, equal give and take, in balance with masculine and feminine energies. Yeah, this is communication. This is this is not letting anything get in the way of winning over the feminine. But the Page of Swords is uh, it's also very vocal energy. It's like coming out of this um, shell and finally putting in the energy required to manifest the feminine. Let's get my other deck. See what else we can get here. Good energy. You know, I'll be glad when this stuff starts manifesting. It's September 11th. Today's 23. Day 23. It was 1919 today. Let's look up numerology 19. 1919 today. Let's look up that before I start pulling more cards. You sending me a picture of you, boy. I want your damn picture. Crazy people. Ooh. Nine, number 1919 may be suggesting that aspects of your life are coming to a close end or important phase or cycle is coming to an end. We knew that already. But good to look it up and get confirmation. Let me say this. Okay. So. Cars are flying off this deck. Sheesh. Sheesh. I knew it was time to switch decks. Who? Six. Six. The Hierophant. What? Um, I got it. Uh, bottom of the deck. Two of Swords. Let's set this down because a lot of cards came out. Okay. So we have six, six. Transition. When you enter transition, you may start seeing 666 or 6666. A lot of sixes when you're about to, when you're balanced and you're about to transition. It's like, it's signifying balance in your life. It's signifying um, your life going to the next level or a high level of its existence. I don't know what, you know, Mark of the Beast, I don't believe in that stuff. I don't believe it to be true. Um, but, you know, people are entitled to their own beliefs. But 66 is not an evil number. It's a twin flame number. It's a number of balance. And it's a number signifying more life and entering that a higher phase of life that some other people can't, you know, reach. Why? Because you're balanced. So anyway. All right. So this is clarifying what I said. Success brings a transition. So once you re reach this level of success and following, look at this. She has followers. She's abundant. Look at that red. Look at that horse. She's reached the next phase of life. And she's transitioning. She knows that reaching this phase of life. And I'm saying she, so it must be a woman. The feminine reaches this transition of life. No, a high, the feminine reaches a high level of success and it transitions her life. Bringing her to a point of, okay, now that I've reached this level of abundance. So it's only so long the feminine is going to want to be single. Single is good for a period of time, but then there comes a time where you like, okay, I have to make a decision on who I want to be with. You know, who is my masculine and who's here? Who's here? Who's the opposition in disguise and who's my masculine? For real, for real. Coming together and making a decision. Regardless of the noise, regardless of who's fighting in the background trying to get you, it's like, all right, I've reached this level of success. I'm good all by myself, but I'm a force when we're together. Who do I choose? Who do I choose? One, because if you're abundant, of course you're going to have multiple offers. Abundant people have multiple offers. Come on now. That's why you, you these people, these celebrities that be single, they don't be knowing who to be with. So many offers, they don't know who to choose from. We received the car and want to come out. Three of Swords. Um, maybe this is multiple offers with the Ace of Pentacles being on the back of the front of the deck with the Three of Swords. Offers coming in very quick, very soon. Libra season is almost here. Goodness, y'all. 
Did, did y'all see all those cars fall out? Oh, and like all these fell out. All right, I'm gonna just take these and I'll be done with it. We got the Hermit on the bottom of the deck. The Sun right under the Hermit. And the High Priest is Masculine and Feminine Energy. And the Ten of Cups. Happy Family, Masculine and Feminine. The Divine leading the Masculine and Feminine together for to be a happy family. Drop your shields, Feminine. This Masculine is ready to come in. Hey. <sighs> All right, so. I'm going to read these. The tower. So major change in the feminine's life. Again, stardom, six of wands, um, nine of pentacles. This is abundance that wasn't there before. This is a following that wasn't there before. And that is definitely tower energy. Positive tower energy, but it's also, you know, pushing you into the spotlight, pushing you into a life that you didn't have, be you know, before. So the tower brings... Um, you know, people are fighting over the feminine. Look at this five of wands. They all want something. They all want the feminine. They're fighting for her. Um, him or her. And so the feminine has to make a decision. Who do I choose? Who do I choose? Who do I choose? Who do I choose? I got all of these offers coming in. Which one is the op? Which one is my masculine? Who completes me? Maybe multiple offers, they all look good. Which one, though, is best for me? Who do I come together with? Denying some of them. Saying no. This Le this King of Wands, this Leo energy keeps popping up, too. So let's read this three together, too. So we have the Lovers, um, the King of Wands, and we have the Four of Cups. So the lovers is like, you know what the lovers is. And the king of wands could be a Leo, but it could also be, you know, someone attractive. Another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be, I don't think this is Taurus energy. But it could be, you know, just someone who is also attractive, who is a visionary leader, solves problems that you're just very attracted to. But anyway, um, this, you know, you're saying no. Offers not coming in, you're saying no. <laughs> the feminine is not playing around, but spirit is saying drop your shields. And I'm gonna do a meditation. Um, I'm gonna do a meditative prayer. Spirit of the Lord, I ask that you come into our hearts, that we fight and stand our ground for our desires. For one is with Father, with the Creator, with masculine and feminine energies, the Shekinah, the Holy Spirit, and you know, and ourselves, our bodies as vessels of God on earth, that we all come together one with the Creator. But also, Lord, that we drop our shields um, and that we trust in our instincts, trust in our guides, trust in God, and trust that the decisions that we're making. Is leading us to more life and more life. Trust our own ability to make decisions in our lives and to choose who we're supposed to be with. I just saw a black cat. I see a black cat. I don't know why. I pray this as a vessel of God on earth. Amen. You may pray in Jesus' name if you want to. Um, let me look at black cat. Black cat has bad um, omens. But really, it's not bad. No, not spiritual. Not spirit. Anyway. anyway, so still, you know, saying no to certain people um, that's coming for you. But knowing that you have to make a decision. Maybe I need to pull some more cards. Hmm. It's revenge. Oh, yes. Okay. Mm. So, we need to remove revenge from our hearts. In order to choose and make a right decision in who we want to be with, and I feel this energy like I could cry right now, we have to remove the spirit of revenge from our hearts. People hurt us during this journey. People rejected us during this journey. Masculines, maybe even the masculine rejected us during this journey, but it's not going to help us to 
have the spirit of revenge. So when spirit says, drop your shields, spirit is saying, drop the, the spirit of revenge and know that everything is has went and is going as planned. There is a lot of blame to go around, but it's no need to blame others. Remain pure, remain proactive, remain one with God, and I pray for the release of the spirit of revenge from my heart, from anyone's hearts who has it, who's watching this video, and for us to drop our shields where we need to drop it. And if the spirit of revenge is one, I pray that we drop that. Amen. Okay, let me see if we have any more cards coming out on my other deck. Ooh, which one should I do? Which one should I, which one should I use? I'm just only going to pull a couple more cards. Let me save this progress. Pick these cards up. My modern day mystic, mystic Mondays card. That I love that deck. It's so thick though. It's like hard to shuffle. But when I get my deck done, I, um, I think I want this. I, I think I want it to be like this. But at the same time, I don't want it to be hard for readers to shuffle. But I definitely like the silver linings. Ooh, silver lining. <laughs> silver lining. Interesting. Yeah, so. I'm not trying. I don't like um, to accidentally get reversals. Everything happens for a reason, though. I'll take them. More singular energy. Seven of Pentacles, Five of Cups, walking away. But, um, honestly, I'm getting, like, opportunities. Like, with the Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Cups, it's like opportunities to build. It's like maybe these different offers um, have their own you know, advantages and opportunities like to build with. So it's like, who do I build with? If I choose one of these people to build with, then I'm missing out on, you know, being able to build with this person. But it's more contemplative energy. I feel contemplative here for some reason. Like she's building for herself, but it's also energy of, guess what? The star and the six of cups wanted to show up, guys. But it's like, um... Yeah, yes, 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 yes. So we have Justice, Ten of Cups, and King of Cups. Entering this new phase of life with someone. Um, this, you know, King of Cups. Ready to receive abundance. Masculine energy. Choosing who to enter the next phase of life with legally. That's marriage. <laughs> Justice card. Let's see what other energies we get from this deck. Should I take those guys? Fine. Yep, same thing. Okay. We have the Empress. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Queen of Pentacles again. We have the Devil and the Three of Wands. The Wheel to begin again. Mm. Breaking old patterns and energies and relationships. The Queen of Pentacles. Choosing who to connect with, who to. Um, she's holding something. What am I getting from these cards? Man, the feminine about to be on her boss. Look at this Empress card. She is a boss. She's vacationing. She looks good. Yeah, breaking old patterns with this devil and this ace of swords. Breaking old energy and patterns and relationships. Leaving them behind. Choosing to be single and, and fabulous. Not just single. Fabulous and single. And the masculine having the will to begin again. To come together. Um... With the feminine. 
Yes. Oh my goodness. I didn't know these was turned around. The Eight of Wands came out. Communication coming through very quickly and transformation. With the death card. Hmm. Let's just pull a little bit more and I'll be done. I just pull, I just got this deck to be extra. Princess of Swords. Page of Swords again. Definitely expect this communication to come through. Yep. Again, eight of pentacles and the moon. <laughs> Sorry guys, still in this indecisive energy. Choosing work over everything. One thing's for sure, one thing's for certain. Feminine. Definitely trust his or her work more than the masculine at this time. You know, a partnership. Just not you're just in the unknown as it pertains to a partnership. And um the Princess of Swords, Page of Swords. You know, just like you're not even fighting back though here. But you got your sword out and you sitting pretty, ready to use it at any time. Ready to defend yourself at any time. But spirit is saying drop your shields, you're good, you're protected. Mmm. Um, bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. Entering a new phase of life. I was just looking at the cards under there. They're reversed. Seven of Cups, the Fool, the Knight of Wands, the High Priestess, but I'm not reading them in reverse. Same cards, be funny. But yeah, entering this new phase of life. Definitely gonna be like the last hump is making a decision on who to partner with in life. It's a big decision to make, and it's not one to make lightly. So I respect the feminine for taking the time to make a decision that's best for him or her. Anyway, I'll leave it there. This reading you was, I'll leave it there. This reading was brought to you by Gym Body TMC. And if you would like a personal reading, I need to get some readings done. I want to do some readings. Click, click me below or contact me or the link in my description and book a reading. I really would love to read for you. It does not require me much information. Sometimes I don't have a real name. I have like a Facebook name. I don't need all it like birthday, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes less is more. The more information I get, it's like I feel like the reading is biased because it's so obvious what the message is because you didn't told me everything. But I like to read the message that I get from spirit and deliver it and resonate. And people are so shocked how I can read them and they're not here. I can read them. They're not over the phone. I can read them and they just simply inbox me on Facebook. Hey, I want a reading and I give them a reading and it's accurate and I read their situation without knowing them. So if you would like a reading, click the link in my description. I'd be happy to do one for you. Um... If you can't afford my prices, $22, you cash out me $22. I'll do a reading for you. Just put reading in your name or your email address, and I'll send it to you that way. Make sure you put your email because I'm going to be able to um, send you the link <laughs> if you cash out me or email me afterwards. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I wish you love. I wish you lights, and I wish you more lights. Thank you for watching. Please help me meet my 60 order goal for this week for Gym Body TMC Gym Hoodies that help you work out and get a better workout in the gym. That website is gymbodytmc.com. Thank you.